Greetings, baby doll chocolate pudding cake. Today we're going to go through a trader who paper handed with a slanted back. This trader made money. And you're probably going to be confused because you're wondering, wait a minute, if this person made money, why are they a paper hand? Well, you're going to see exactly why. We're going to go through it. You're going to learn why there are times you can make money, but you do the wrong thing. And we flip it around. There are times where you can make the wrong move and also make money. That doesn't mean you should do them. Right? You can have seven shots of alcohol and drive home. You can do that. And you can survive. Is that the right strategy though? We're going to go through this. So we have a wallet here. D76E. They sold... 12 million hex, bang. So I went and just had a look. Just had a look, go, hey, who is this guy? Let's check his trades. So I had a look at his history. It's very interesting, right? Very interesting. So I had a look at his history. And what he did was, he accumulated hex for nine months. There was some paper handing, buying and selling, etc. all right? And what he did was, I checked his wallets. He went all in, okay? Now, maybe he has other hidden anonymous wallets. We don't know. But on this, he's done a lot of trades, heaps of coins. He goes all in on trades. He trades with all of his USDT. So his average buy price was $0.04. Cents, and then he sold for a 2x. So people then saw. So not 95% of us, we are friends. Our backs are straight. We have soft Cotton socks, our slippers, fluffy as the eye can be. But we know not everyone's going to make it. We understand that, yes, the only reason why our bags go up so much is because most people trade themselves into misery. They are selling the lows and buying the tops. They are the momentum that breaks the highs. It's not us. So... The only reason why crypto goes parabolic is because heaps of people come in, they start trading. That's why. So, this person's average buy price was $0.04, cents, sold to $0.08 cents for a 2x. He trades his whole portfolio. It's very important. Remember that for later. And yeah, he had like 500 k He sold it for a 2x. whoop de doo Okay, so most people, we, we know that's the wrong thing to do. And we're going to go through why. But some people are copers. Some people think... Oh, well, he made $500,000. Wow, that's the right thing to do. We're going to run through this scenario, right? So unfortunately, a lot of people still don't get it. So look at this. I've already written toilet paper results. Why have I written this, okay? He sold at a theoretical swing top, right? I could have chosen another trader. I could have not shown you this. I've shown you this for a reason. I am that convicted that this person will never make back his stack I'm willing to put it on the line here. In fact, I have a scheduled post for, I think, July 2024, which says, hey, reminder, let's go check this wallet. Let's see if he has the hex he was meant to have if he bought, when he, if he bought the low when he got in. All right. So this person, okay, it's not, for, it's, not, it's not to shame this person. We didn't care about him. It's just an address. All right. Friends, when I, when I see this, you got to get it through your head. I don't care about this person. This means nothing. There are paper hands who are watching this who get offended. No one cares about you. We in the community, we want to win. I am here caring for you. My community, my people, you need a savior. You need somebody to tell you this is the right thing to do. I have no reputation to, to even defend here. I don't care. I can delete my Twitter tomorrow. It's not important to me. My Twitter, my YouTube means nothing. I'm here to help you. I know in my heart this is the right thing to do on average. I've been day trading for 12 years, man. I know exactly the game, inside out. So when you see this, it's not to say, ah, oh, everybody, look at this guy. I know it feels like that. It feels, I don't care about this person. This person's left. We don't worry about people who leave. I care about you. You are still in the game. You are on the path. You are riding it. You are riding this up and down, up and down, up and down, right? And yeah, we, we fast forward this. 
another 12 months, and then another 12 months, and before we know it, it's 2025, 6, 7. You are riding that wave. I care about you. I don't want you to fall off. You never lose your position in a bull market. So this trader, I have the address up here. We're going to go through it in 18 months. We'll see. We'll see if this person, yeah, let's, we'll see if they killed it. We'll see, all right? It's paper hand trader. I drew this arrow here. You can't see the history because it gets too ugly, but they accumulated for nine months. And look at this. They were buying and selling and paper hand trading here. They were meant to own 20 million hex. That's how, meant, that's how much they're meant to own, okay? 20 million. You go through their trades, meant to own 20 million. Do they own 20 million? No. Because of their paper handing, this and that, up and down, they got four, um, 12 million, okay? 12 million hex. So already, you know, if you do the most conservative number, their buy-in's meant to be three cents, but because of paper hand trading, so that's 17 million, okay? But if you do two, um, if you fast forward two years, you just do 10% and then 10% on that, you do a two year stake, they're meant to have 20 million, okay? 20 million hex. They only had 12 million because they're paper handing, and they turned 500K, they sold it for a 2X. Now, congratulations, you made money. Is that the response to do this? No, let me explain to you why, all right? Let me explain to you exactly why this was a very poopy thing to do. Firstly, okay, firstly, this person, paper hander, right, Mr. Paper Hander, risked 100% of his portfolio here, okay? There's nothing wrong with that, by the way. There's nothing wrong. I'm just letting you know. These are the characteristics, all right? And yes, he will get a toilet paper emoji. So he risked everything. <laughs> he literally risked everything. From when he got in, he went 70% down, okay? 70%. So, <laughs> look at this metric, okay? Risk equals, by the way, this is the drawdown. So his actual real risk in crypto, right? It's actually minus 100%, friends. That's what it is in this game. You're risking everything, okay? Just because you drew down minus 70%, remember, he didn't get out there. So if it kept going, he's not getting out. So he risked, you risk 100% in this game. His reward, 2x. Okay, congratulations. All right. So, risked, so he literally has an R of 2. <laughs> Which is, uh, we're going to get, you're gonna, if you do this, by the way, you're going to get five poopy emojis. All right. If you are risking one to make two on a long term investment, you are wasting your time you may as well leverage trade. I'm not even joking. I'm not saying that tongue in cheek. When you do leverage trading, you can just run the scenario over and over. You can play with money you don't have, but because you're you're risking one unit, you can just do leverage trade. You can go gamble. Go gamble and trade in the casino. You can do that. Okay. I'm not saying risking one to make two. It's not a gamble per se, but you can just go play in the casino. Why are you doing this? Why did you waste nine months of your life risking one to make two in this when you can just go do this and make infinitely more? Okay, now if you know me, there is no, they don't, there is no answer to that question. Why did you do this? Because they don't know what they're doing. They don't know what they're doing. They traded their PL. So Mr. Paper Hander risked one hundred percent of the portfolio, and he only took out a two X. So this, if you run this scenario over and over for all you guys and girls and Greg, not gonna make it. Absolutely not gonna make it. In crypto, see here's the thing, right? This is what I'm gonna tell you right now. Do you remember how I always say the crypto low-hanging fruit? This is a sweet, sweet cherry. The low-hanging fruit is getting eaten faster and faster, okay? So here's going to be a little yummy face emoji. It's getting eaten faster and faster. This, this person and other people too, right? They saw the chart go up and they see money and they have fear. They have fear that if they don't get out, they're going to lose everything. That's why people exit, okay? So you can't sit here and tell me, yeah, yeah, maybe that was a strategy, really? So the, the strategy was risk 100% of your whole portfolio for a 2X. Is that really the strategy? Go, okay, yes, that, that's absolutely smart. So I'll do that every time, right? You run this scenario three times, your winner's not gonna make up for it <laughs> because eventually you're, just, you're gonna get it wrong. 
So automatically, there's something wrong with it. The fruit here. Everybody's trying to eat the fruit, and in crypto, it's getting exponentially harder. You know, this is my chart, friends. This is my chart. The rewards over time. So we think the rewards are gonna go down linear. So what this means is you think this was a thousand X and then it's gonna be 100 X and then it's gonna be 50 X. That's what people think. But actually what happens is it goes a thousand X, now it's down to 30, now it's down to two. That's what the reward scheme in crypto is looking like. That's what happens when more people eat low hanging fruit. So actually this person, Mr. Paper Hander, he thought he was eating low hanging fruit, but actually, do you know what he was doing? He had his nostrils in balls. It wasn't low-hanging fruit. He got conned, okay? It wasn't sweet, ripe cherry. <laughs> he was sniffing. He was sniffing, all right? So this person, all right, you risked one to make two. You risked everything to make a double, all right? Very, very, very dangerous. And for the rest of us, okay, you, you're still here. You're still holding. I have, friends, my DMs fill up like every hour, it fills up just 20, 20 new messages. And I can now tell you from my survey, mental note, about 90% of people have very, very small allocations, what I would call, consider tiny in crypto, which is under 50,000 US, right? Right now, under 50K US, you're basically microscopic. You can do a lot of damage with that on the upside, but you're basically microscopic. You have no business if you have even 50K or even 100K. You have absolutely no business business risking everything to sell it for a double. Okay? No business at all. Let's go through some other parts to go through too. We can also add, one, we are still in deep depression zone. All right. We are. We actually still are. So this person sold D76E, sold for a 2X in the depression zone. So there are two ways to look at this. The paper handers would look at this and say, oh, well, that looks like a great trade. But if you actually want to make it, like if you're here to actually win, okay, another way to look at it is, okay, you sold something that's down minus 85%. That's another way to look at it. And that's true. You got rid of an asset that's minus 85%. Because they're also in disbelief. I understand all the emotions. They have so much fear about it coming down. They're in disbelief. There's like, no, no, no. This can't possibly be the right thing to do. Because I have money flashed on my screen. I'm just going to get out. I'm just going to get out. I can't think. So you're sitting here and you're wondering, well, what's the right thing to do? You say, well, what if you think? Most people are going to say, oh, okay, well, if it goes down, that was the right thing to do. Well, that's, that's, that's why I've made a scheduled post, friends. That's why I've got a scheduled post coming out so we can see. Does this trader have 20 million hex value in 18 months from now? I want to know, you know. Maybe hex is by July next year. Maybe hex is 30 cents. I don't know. I want to know, right? We're going to know this. 20 million times 30 cents. Do they have 6 million USDT in the portfolio? I would like to see. And I want to know what they did. I promise you right now, even if they do, there's a hundred other traders that don't. They don't get these results. They don't outperform buy and hodling. Doesn't happen. You make you gotta make too many decisions. So not only did somebody get rid of an asset in deep depression zone, now they have to worry about getting in. Now they have to worry about building conviction units elsewhere. You mess things up for yourself tremendously. So, look at this. I've got a comment here, right? So, 95% of us, we already understand this. This is nothing new, okay? You understand this, right? 95% of my people, us, we are the outsiders. We will make it. Well, I've already made it, but you get me, right? You're with me, you're going to make it. So, you are ready for Diamond Hands journey. You've seen the depression, man. You've seen it. You're long. You're long, and a lot of us, you're losing your mind, but that, that's what you're meant to do. You're meant to lose your mind. You're not meant to feel good down here. You're not meant to relieve yourself of an exit down here. That's what you do in the euphoria, okay? But it's it's very hard to do that because you don't think that by leaving, you've relieved yourself. <laughs> you think you're doing something bad. You're leaving the party at 9.30 at night when everyone's going to 4 a.m., okay? So 
if a 2x impresses you, then truly you have a lot of work to do. Say, I can even use another analogy, right? You're familiar with boxing, right? If there's a boxer and he's being coached and he's fighting someone and in round one, he drops his guard down, steps forward and hits the guy and he jabs him, okay? You as a coach, let's say you're the coach and you're watching your, your boxer. You say, hey, um, you shouldn't have dropped your guard. That was the wrong thing to do. Now, how would you react if the boxer then says to you, what are you talking about? I hit him in the face. Clearly, that was the right thing to do. You don't know what you're talking about. How do you think that's going to go? You, now you have to explain to Mr. Boxer here. You go, look, okay, you hit him in the face this time. You run this scenario 100 times, you're not going to have any teeth left. It's exactly what we're going through right here. The exact same scenario. Yes, you took a jab. Congratulations. It's not the right thing to do. Just like how there are risky strategies you can take that are way too risky, but you can still make money. You know, there are people who went all in on a meme coin, they won. There are 999 who went all in on the wrong meme coin and didn't win. There are people who put on, you know, that 20x leverage long and they, they bink it. There are other people who put on even a 2x leverage long and they got crushed. So it's not black and white all the time. You, we have to make the rules black and white. And look, the best part is, friends, from all the on-chain evidence, there are 1,000 people we can see, wow, this person is rich because they hold. You can get thousands and thousands and thousands of people in crypto. Yet, how many traders do we know have actually made it? What? Five, ten. By the way, can you even really verify them? Not really. You can only verify a few of them. Yet everyone still wants to make it. And what's the difference? The difference is the trading is the fast one. That's the difference. So if you don't learn this, you're going to learn the hard way. So it's not even maybe you'll learn. It's just no, no, no. You, you, you will learn this lesson. I promise you that. Okay. We're out here eating the sweet, ripe cherries. And you're not eating cherries. You got your... You got your nose deep in balls, sweaty, slimy balls. I've been day trading for 12 years, okay? <laughs> day trading did not make me retire. I thought it would make me retire after year three, four, but then the game kept changing, get harder and harder. And as soon as I came into crypto, I was still day trading until I made my Bitcoin. It was day trading. I kept it in Bitcoin, but it was the hodling that actually helped me retire. It wasn't the trading part. Luckily, I figured it out early. Selling for a 2x, that's how crypto people go broke. It's how you go broke. You will regret it. Okay? You will regret it. And when I put this result up, I don't even bother putting in the ending on the 4x. You know, friends, my results here, just want to let you know, there are winners on here that I got from ICOs when I did whitelists and paid ICOs and stuff. I did not put them here because you couldn't get them. So I thought... That's pretty stupid. Why would I just come brag about this? You can't even participate in that one. So that's not fair. So I wouldn't even put it up. And other ones, two or three X, pfft, no one cares about that. Don't even put it up. So just put this. By the way, when I started making this, I had no idea I was even going to be talking on Twitter or YouTube or anything. I had no idea. I just wrote this down. I thought, you know, it might be useful if I write this down just to track my results to see if there's any pattern I can see. Okay? That's why I put this up. Look at this. Do you, if you honestly think you're going to make it with a two X... Right, you only get the two x because coins he went eighty nine x, forty seven, thirty x, forty two x, hundred and seven x, fifty three x. You're only getting your double because these things are eventually going to go up. That's how volatile they are. So if you're risking one hundred percent of the bullet, you're truly not going to make it. This is VT textile investing. Okay, so remember, most of you have 5k to 50k friends, 90% of you have a tiny crypto allocation size between 5k to 50k. You are not going to do a double 15 times. You just you're going to need a, a winner. That's it. You're going to need a winner and you're going to need to ride the winner. So swing trading and selling for your double, it's going to get you nowhere. You, you're going to have to hold to euphoria. All right. I don't know what our portfolio is going to be. I don't know what the coins are going to be at when the euphoria is here. I do not know. Maybe Chainlink, it could, Chainlink could be $100 or it could be $400, right? Hex could be $0.50, cents, it could be $5. I don't know what the euphoria is going to do and take it. Bitcoin could be 80000 it could be 180000 There are so many variables with this. However, 
it doesn't even matter if you're not holding. If you paper hand, it doesn't matter what it is, right? So we're, look, we're trying to think about the future. We're literally fighting demons and demons in the darky. So many unknowns, right? But here's the thing. What if Hex does hit $5? What if Chainlink does hit $400? What if, what if Ethereum doesn't stop at $8,000? What if Ethereum goes to $18,000? What if that happens? Well, if you bought now, you've killed it, right? But if you don't buy now, if you're selling on a double and out going to paper hand yourself and you're going to fondle your soap in the shower, well, you're not even going to participate in that. You don't even get to enjoy the riches. We well, think you do, but 99% of people, they're going to fondle it. And you know they are. Because they're going to go further and further down the risk curve, right? And the best part is you can actually read this on CoinFessions Wrecked. I make tweets. I show you. There are people who say, how am I still here? I've been here for three cycles. I've been here for two cycles. I used to have, I bought Bitcoin back in 2013, but I've traded myself to nothing. Now I have $5,000 to my name. So many stories like that over and over and over again. People aren't listening. But 95% of you are. You are listening. You know, friends, so look, there's, there's two ways to look about it. When someone sells, right? It's not here, we're not here to shame them. I'm here, to, I'm here to protect you. I'm here to protect you. If you have, like a lot of people, you haven't seen, you don't know what a million dollars looks like in your account. You probably get too nervous. You don't think, you think, oh, I'm just going to get everything out. I'm going to get everything out. Okay, that's not investing, man. You go listen to the principles of Warren Buffett. You sell that fundamental fair value. That's it. It doesn't matter whether you have 10K, a million, whatever. Whatever it is. You sell at fair value. Just like how, if you inherited your parents, let's say you had you had parents, unfortunately, let's say they pass away, you inherit their house, and the house has a fair value, you think of 1.5 million, but you really want the money today. You're like, oh, well, money's money. You know, I'll just, let's just sell it for 300,000 because I get the money like today in cash. Is that a wise thing to do? Just selling just for money? You run that scenario with all aspects of your life. You know that's not the right thing to do, right? So remember, one big, the biggest noob mistake that investors make is trading their P&L. That's exactly what this is. So you, you're not exiting off rational value. You're exiting because of the fear dis of the profit disappearing. So like I said, some people congratulated the four poopy horsemen because I was selling at 1.8 cents. Congratulations, right? Another way to look at it. Some people said, oh, but this person's up 3x. This person's up 5x. This person's up 10. But yeah, you, you can live in that world. That's okay. That's why you're never even going to. Most people think like that. They're going to be copers. There are people from 2016, 2017, they still haven't retired here. God knows how you haven't retired here. At least you could have to just buy anything and hold, right? I don't know how it hasn't happened, but clearly they're doing something wrong, okay? But now maybe I've opened your mind. Are they selling for a 2x or were they selling for minus 97% down? Hex went plus 400% in a straight line from this point. The fate is in your hands, friends. You never, ever forget. Always ask the question, are you eating the low-hanging fruit? Are you biting that sweet, ripe cherry? Or are you sniffing dirty, sweaty balls? Tell your mum you love her. I'll catch you next time.